Hello. I'm going to wait and see if anybody gets on. Hi. Say hi when you come on. I'm waiting for my coffee. Hello. And then I'm going to flip the camera around and show you what I'm doing. And look at my, it says hustle. I just love this necklace. <laughs> Say hi when you come on. Hello. I'm waiting for my coffee. My hub, hubby's making me coffee. And then I'm going to pull up my com my page here. I have my laptop up. Can you hear me? Let me see. Oh, it's all the way up. Um, let's mute. There we go. Okay. I think we're good so I can see the comments alrighty so I'm going to um, go live every day this week until Thanksgiving which is only a few days but I'll do it Friday and through the weekend too hello um, just to say what I'm thankful for um, yeah I'm thankful to spend time with my family uh, tomorrow and Thursday going to my in-laws they just live like an hour away from us um, I'm in Las Vegas and they live in Pahrump which is over the mountain so we'll drive out there tomorrow after work spend the night have Thanksgiving and then um, yeah and then come home Thursday and then Black Friday Ooh. okay so I'm gonna swing this around and show you what I'm doing here sorry my desk is a mess but cannot be helped. So I showed you guys um, one of the ornament wreaths that I did um, last year, I think. And I'm going to make another one. Well, I'm going to start it. I don't know how far I'm going to get because I don't even know if I have enough ornaments, but I'm going to show you what I do. So you just take a regular hanger. And what I did is I undid the... Um, Oh, just set it right there, babe. I undid the um, part here that connects and I actually didn't cut any of it, if you can see that. And I actually left this too, the hook part. Now, I have some where I've cut this part off with my wire cutters, um, but this one I left because... I mean, if you want to make it really easy and you don't have a lot of tools, you can just leave it because you can use this as the hanger part and you can, um, you know, if you need to, you can turn it this way and that's what you can hang over your door or you can just leave it like this and use it with an actual hanger. You can, um, once we get the bow on, it should cover this part and you can uh, hang it on the wall. I mean, anywhere you want. So... After you get the hanger undone, you just form it into a circle. That's all this is. Nothing special. Um, I bought these last year, and good Lord, they are so dirty and dusty. But we're going to do blue. I think these are from Kmart. I bought these last year after the sale. And this is from um, Michael's last year. So there's 50 in here, and there's 30 in there. So we're going with 80. Um, normally I'll get some, I think I have some from the dollar store too that, um, they have smaller ones. Actually, I looked out last year, I did not get them from the dollar store. I got them from the 99 cent store and they had a bazillion of them and I went crazy and that's what I, um, mostly did the reads with. So let me go see if I have more of the little ones because you want to do big and incorporate little.
So these are the ones from the um, 99 cent store, but they're just, no, they're a little bit smaller. What I'm looking for is this, but this is more of a teal color, and I don't want to put that in there. So. We'll just wing it anyways. We'll just use this. It doesn't even matter. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then I have one of my gigantic Tupperware bowls. Um, I usually keep the ornaments in there. Uh, so I just dump a bunch in there like this. And let's cut this bad boy up. Oh, maybe not. And these are the shatterproof. Do not use glass because I can only imagine that they will totally break everywhere. Get shatterproof. Um, I don't know if we're going to use these or not. Let's take this apart. We'll just put some in there. So as you come in, say hi. If you can like it and share if you like what you're seeing, that would help me out. Um, let me see. Hi, Megan. <laughs> Hi, Belinda. I'm going to say you, Dean. Hi, guys. Okay, so what you can do from here, um, I already have my glue gun plugged in, and I have, like, all these glue sticks right here. What I normally do is, because these come off, I do not take the tops off. I try to keep it easy. All I do is take, um, I'm sorry, the lighting is like shining right there. Let's see if I can move it. All I do is take my glue gun, I stick it in one of these holes and just do like a little dab. Oh, if it wants to go. And I just do a little spot of glue, like a little shot in each one of these holes right here. Because it's all plastic. It's not the metal ones like you get on the glass. And that's it. So I'll do a bunch of these and hope they don't stick. And I'm just doing a little teeny tiny shot of glue like this. And all it's doing is it's securing the, um, the top to the bulb. Hi, April. Hi, Nada. <laughs> That's funny. So these ones are a little bit different if you can see them. And these ones come off really easy. Let me show you. Because I had some last year. It was a struggle. I was learning how to do it. So all it is, see that top? Like, if you were to use this in a wreath, you could take this off. You dip this in my glue pot over here, get the glue all around this, and stick it however. But we want this on here because um, this plastic piece, if you can see that, the hole, that's what we're going to use to go around the, um, um, the hanger. So I'm just going to throw some glue on here. And if you guys have seen me before, I wing it a lot of the time. I keep saying that, but I really do. If I see someone's technique or someone's way of how they put something together, my brain is always constantly thinking of new ways. Like, okay, how can I make that mine? Because it's, it's okay to learn and, and, you know, copy someone's work to learn, but you don't want to, um, like, do the same thing. You want it to be your own, right? Hi, Nicole. So just doing a tiny bit of glue all the way around. You don't want to get crazy. You want a little glue strings all over. And really, when you put this on the hanger, um, it's going to be facing in like this. And we're going to take um, some garland and we feed it through. So you're really not going to see this part anyways. So this is the fun part. Try not to burn yourself. Give yourself blisters. I guarantee I'll be burning something before the end of the night. Oh, this look at this one has a metal. This is a metal one on here. 
How funny is that? How are we going to get this guy to stay? So I'm just going to pull up the um, thing a little bit, dab some glue, pull it up on the other side. There's no science or technique to this. You're just doing it. And you're getting glue dots everywhere. And just pull them off and throw them in the trash. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Deanna. Making an ornament wreath. I'm just doing my glue on the um, bulbs here. Oh, here's another one. Look at this one. It's real pretty. This one ha has metal on it, too. And there is glitter flying everywhere. Ooh, we. What, babe? What? <laughs> my kids are in the front room watching Lego Batman eating popcorn. My daughter was just right here. This one is like going crazy. So I just do this. You go through a lot of glue sticks. It's time consuming, but you guys see the end result. It is super easy. Like you could go pull a hanger from your closet right now and start you know, taking it apart, forming it, go out, get you some, um, ornaments. I'm sure everybody has a glue stick. It's like, if you're into crafts, you have a freaking glue gun, right? <laughs> um, and just make one. It's super easy and fun. Um, even if you don't ha know how to do a bow, you can make it your own add whatever you want hi Lynn we're making an ornament wreath I'm showing you I just take the bulbs and I hot glue um, the little toppers on it oh you gotta watch too I wasn't paying attention on some of these the plastic breaks you got to be really gentle with it too when we start to put it on because some of them are broken I just once I get it on the ring I literally uh, hot glue it <laughs> I'm, I am not taking this apart once it gets going. I'm telling you. Okay. So the idea is to do as many different kinds as you can. Um, ow, see? I just burned myself. Um, April, except me, I must be short on my balls. Yep, that's fine. I'm short too, I know. I think you need at least 100, honestly. And I only have 80 plus... Eight, I think was in that other two. So I'm going to start this and I'm going to show you what to do. Okay. So hi, Yari. So you take this part. I took, if you just joined us, I um, formed the hanger. It's a wire hanger. And all I did was the part that's wrapped around each other. I just took it apart. That's why you see this. I'm sorry about the bad lighting. Um, and then you just start. I like to start with a, a big one. So this I'm looping it and it's going to come all the way around over here where the hook is. Now you could go this way, do it however you want. Um, you Sometimes I will take, we're going to take this pipe cleaner. Um, I don't know why I just did that. Um, and I'm just going to tie this off here just so it gives like a stopper. Because I don't want the... Um, bulbs to start coming off the other end <laughs> and um, you just start putting them on I, you could put two of the same kind next to each other it doesn't really matter because the way you're gonna situate them it's just gonna um, they're gonna be different they're gonna move along you can I'll show you how to move them around um, so then we just feed it on here now if it gets stuck you're gonna have to twist it so it kind of goes around the um, little line. I might have to cut this. Oh, see, see how I'm winding that and it went on. And then go down, guys. So you just take your um, things here, and all I'm doing is putting the um, top part on here. see what we've got. We've got all these silvers. Let's do another blue. Let's do another blue. Oh, 
These big guys don't want to go on here. Let's see. i got to twist them on. Let's do a white. Hi, babe. You need to go in the other room, honey. Okay, bring them back when you're done. Okay, so I have a good amount on here, right? Hi, Jamie. And all I do is turn it around like this. Slide them all the way to the bottom. Try to be gentle so those little toppers don't break. And you're just going to um, turn them around so that they all fall in line. See that? See how they get on there like that? And don't worry about the gaps. Okay, so here's, like this one here, I put two little ones together. I have a little bit of a gap. When we do the tinsel or the garland, you know, the plastic, the metallic stuff, we're going to feed it all the way through here. And sometimes you can go around twice with one roll. Um, so you won't see any of the hanger. Um, so that's all we do. And just keep going around. Oh, Richard's my husband. Thank you, babes. So we're just going to keep doing this. Oh, I didn't. I didn't glue that one. See? I'm all discombobulated anyways. So I let you guys know what I'm doing for Thanksgiving. What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? I still have to work tomorrow half a day. I wish I could take the ah I wish I could take the day off. Oh, I just burnt myself again. And again. Okay. Oh, this thing is dangerous. It's not even wanting to go in there. Anyways. Okay. So all I'm doing, gluing, gluing, gluing. What are you guys thankful for? Let me know. My kids are on Thanksgiving break. Since when? I don't remember having Thanksgiving break. What does that even mean? Ooh, you guys are doing different stuff. Traveling down south. Nicole, be safe. Megan, your in-laws are coming over. Have fun. Are you cooking? I'm still lucky that, honestly, if my mom and my mother-in-law are watching... They fight over, not like fight, like fist fight or screaming or anything, but there's a discussion about who's doing Thanksgiving. It's hilarious. So I support, I let them figure it out and I show up and <laughs> I help. I do dishes. I'll do whatever they say, make this, cut this, stir that, whatever. I don't have to touch a turkey so um, I have this thing about raw meat um, I hate touching raw meat so I look out my mom taught me how to make a turkey long time ago and oh look at this one ah, can you see that so anytime I find something funky I just take it off and fix it Oh, Lynn, you work in a hospital. You never close. No. So you have to work. Yari, I want to make a huge one with a hula. Well, you won't be able to get the hula through these little things here, but you. Can, I've seen people do it with the... Um, um, gluing it right to like a pool noodle it could be the same process you just you need probably need to buy I'm setting this aside probably need to buy like a case of glue honestly I use a lot well I don't use a lot of glue I use glue on all of these just to make sure because the first time I did one I had carnage everywhere the bulbs were falling off they were breaking I had no idea what was going on and then um, 
I did some research. And I'm like, oh, I probably should have glued it. <laughs> Too funny, right? Nicole, you baked a ham today? Ooh, good grief. Oh, Megan, I just saw your... <laughs> Thank you. You know what? I'm having so much fun um, just doing this and finding my place, what I'm supposed to be doing. So and I'm, I got this idea today and I'm like, I'm going to go live this week, talk about how thankful I am, kind of share, get other people in the spirit. Um, you know, there's a lot of ugliness out there in the world and if I can brighten someone's day or night then that's what I'm here for right oh you baked sweets oh oh you purchased the ham for Friday I'm all about the sweets god my clothes know it I need to stay away from the sweets <laughs> You know what, Yari? You just do, I think that's your name. You just do whatever you feel. If it doesn't work out, I have like a graveyard of incomplete crafts <laughs> of stuff that I've started and um, literally I, it didn't work out. I grew tired of it. I was frustrated. It was came out terrible. So, but how would I know what's working for me if I didn't try it? You know what I mean? So, I say try it. What can you do? What can you lose? In crafting, there is no perfect, no perfection. You just keep trying it. At least that's what works for me. And I don't even know if this is working. <laughs> Mm, chocolate pudding pie, brookies, and chocolate brownie cherry bombs. Mm, Nicole. That just sounds yummy. So let me show you this one. This guy is broken, but I'm not going to trash him. So all I did, stick more glue in there. Can you see that? He's missing one of his little thingies right there, but I just filled it with glue. Because... Uh, the top part's what's going to go through the hanger. Okay, so let's go back to putting some more of this stuff on. Hi, Don. Hi, Carolyn. Okay, so we go back. Let me move this a little bit more so you can see. I got the end here, and I'm watching to see what I have here. I want another blue. Actually, I want one of these. And I'm just feeding it around. I feed them around first. And then I will worry about positioning them. Okay? Because if I stopped and positioned every single one while I'm doing it, I will never get done. And then I kind of shimmy shake it. I'm flipping them around to make sure they're all sitting well. We've got a gap right here, so we've got to get that. Okay, see how it's turning out? That's going to be gorgeous. <laughs> you know what, Nicole? That's how you learn. You go, okay, so that didn't work. Um, let me try something else. That's how we. That's how we just grow. Oh my God, if I followed what, I got a glue string here. What is happening? If I followed what everybody else did, we would all be bored, right? Because you'd see the same stuff everywhere. Let's put another one of these. <laughs> my kids are acting crazy. They've been at their grandma and papa's all day. Out of school, my aunt was down with 
one of their cousins, other two cousins came over to my mom and dad, so they just had a madhouse all day with kids. The oldest is eight, and then two seven-year-olds, and then what else? Two seven-year-olds, and a six-year-old, and a five-year-old. All cousins. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi, Claudia. Oh, Claudia, I'm off Craig in the 95. I'm actually off of um, um, Lone Mountain and Jones. So we're neighbors. Wouldn't that be fun to do something together? So all I do, if you came late, this is a wire hanger that I made into a circle. I left the um, hook part on. You can see it. And I'm just winding these around. I wind it, or I put them on, and then I um, flip them around. Okay, now see this? There's two of the same here. So all I do is I go like this, and I move them around. So now that now I have two more of the same, so I kind of wiggle them around. Can you see? I'm sorry. I wiggle them around to separate them. And now I don't have two of the same next to each other. See how I did that? No, there's two there. You know what? I'm just going to leave them. It doesn't matter. I'm getting glitter everywhere. You're between... <laughs> Megan. <laughs> yes, Megan, we will have to do something soon. I might have a pampered chef party. Maybe. If you can't quote me on it, you can't hold me to it. <laughs> oh, too funny. Tanae and Buffalo on Craig. Oh, wow. Yes, Nicole, trial and error. We just keep trying. Okay, I got to get some more of these clear ones in here. Actually, I need to do more blue because I have a ton of these blue ones, too. Seems like I have more of those than the other ones. So let's put another one on. Hi, Judy. Oh, let me move this so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. As you guys come on, let me know what you're thankful for. And now I'm going back to gluing. So what I do is I take my glue gun. Oh, next time I'm going to put the camera on the other side. I take my glue gun and I'm just shooting like a little tiny bead around the um, topper and um, the actual ornament so it kind of holds it in place. That way I don't have to worry about um, these guys coming off because I did these last year and they my first one was a disaster. They were popping off and I was like what is happening? It was funny. Yeah, let me know what you guys are thankful for and what you're cooking. If you're not cooking, if you're working. I'm so glad to be sharing with you guys. Let me tell you, I am like just super busy. Full-time job. Two kids, my son is seven, my daughter just turned six on Saturday, um, husband, family, um, my parents, thank God, they moved out here in Vegas um, this year, they got their house, first week of July, um, so my dad picks my kids up from school um, when they get out and then uh, takes them to their house and then after work. I go to their house and pick them up. So I get to see my parents about, well, at least five days a week. If we don't get to see them on the weekend, um, at least we see them during the week. 
Um, and then we rush home, we make dinner, play, do whatever for a little bit, and then we're back to schedule. Bath, bed, wake up, do it all over again. So sometimes it's hard to get away and um, do stuff. Oh, <laughs> yes, Claudia, this is a green Tupperware bowl. My mom gave this to me. She actually gave me two of them. Oh my gosh. I remember these from when I was a kid. She was using them. <laughs> thankful for life. Yes. Thankful for family. <gasps> thankful that my family survived Hurricane Maria. Wow. Yes. That's very thankful. I'm sorry, but I will never live over there because that stuff just terrifies me. I'm on the West Coast. I'll live through an earthquake before I... Oh, here's another broken one. Before I go and uh, live where the hurricanes are. Aww. Hi, Angie! Hi, Angie! I'm so glad you guys are here. So this is super fun. I mean, any one of you can do it. You don't have to be crafty at all. Um, just get a wire hanger and like two packs of these bulbs, these ornaments. I got one pack was from Michael's and one pack was from um, Kmart last year. I bought them on sale. And just go to town on these. You just feed it on here and I'll show you how to do the um, the garland. You know, like the metallic garland that we like to put on our trees. At least I do. Because <laughs> I'm old school like that. Um, and it's so nice looking. Hi, Kimberly. Oh, wow. You're a nurse, Claudia? My son was born at Sunrise. He was actually a preemie five weeks early, and he spent um, nine days in the NICU. So that I was very, um, very happy over there at Sunrise. Oh, sorry, Nicole. Good night. Yes, thank you. Have a nice Thanksgiving. I will do another live sometime tomorrow. Probably from my in-laws. I don't know what I'm going to take or what I'm going to make, but we're going to be doing something. So catch me then, too. And I have... Okay, so I had three blue. Look, this right here. All I do is just kind of turn it, move them around, and they'll move. So we can separate them. See? Look at that. That's all. Not bad, huh? Nine pounds? Oh my goodness. No, my kids were not nine pounds. If my best friend Jamie's here, I think she had a nine pounder. I don't remember. Did you? Jamie, wasn't one of the boys nine pounds? Maybe I'm just hallucinating. I'm making that up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh. Can you guys see? Let me see. Let me move this out of the way a little bit more. Because it's starting to get heavy. So all I'm doing is taking the um, top and looping it through. Um, my glue skillet, it's a tiny one. It's only like this big. Let me see. It's not on so I can pick it up. But I have this ugly stick in there. And then I have it on the, um, the hot pad there. Um, I don't know if... Um, I have a page on my um, my website, hotmeshmom.com. It's called My Favorite Things or something like that. I think it's I think it's called that. Um, it has work, It has my link on there uh, for 
my tools that I got. Alrighty then, let's see, we've got one more, then i got to glue some more. Okay, look at how this is looking. I love these glues, oh my gosh. We're about halfway there, and I don't know if we're going to make it. Have to go run to the store and buy some more of these um, tomorrow. Um, let me fix. Let me try and fix this one. So the top, I pulled the top off because it was wonky. So let's see what we're gonna do. Excuse me. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue, and then without burning myself. Oh dear. I don't know why I'm trying to do this with you guys on the camera. I have my nails and it's not going to work. There we go. It's like a science trying to get these things in there. Oh, got it. Ha ha. <laughs> Too funny. Oh, Kimberly, my, yes, my Tupperware bowl. Girl, it's like the best bowl. It can fit so much in here. I used to have a bucket, but I don't know what happened to it. Oh, Judy. You know what? De I've learned so much from Debbie that when I found out that I won the Probo, um, I was like, well, I already have one. What do I want to do? You know, I'm going to, I want to ask Damon, can I send it to Debbie? Because I knew she didn't have one. I even sent her a message just to double check and make sure. And she said, no, she didn't have one. So I asked Damon, um, can we send it to Debbie? So he sent the ultimate to Debbie, which is the big one. There's no way I can, I can use that. <laughs> That's why I bought the, the regular one. Um, but you know, Debbie does amazing work and I've learned so much from her. I'm in her group, her monthly group. And, um, I'm so happy. My, I love making people happy. Okay. So I'm the mushy kind. Like I will watch somebody win something or be happy and I'm over there crying. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, I'm so happy. It has nothing to do with me. It's about that person's happiness. And I'm just like this big. You know, mush. Aww. <laughs> yeah, Debbie was excited. She's so funny. I'd never seen her in her work shirt, and she was still in her work shirt. She was like, I am opening this now. <laughs> Claudia, I think this bowl is from the 70s. I'm not <laughs> I'm not afraid to share I am 40 years old so I was born in 76 and I remember all these Tupperware bowls hanging around my mom's kitchen I think that's all we had was Tupperware isn't that funny and I <laughs> I have a yellow one too <laughs> okay so let's, so you see, I just glue them up and then start putting them in here. And so it does take a little bit of time, but you know what I like to do? Um, so I have my desk here and I have my laptop here. Normally what I'll do is I'll push my laptop all the way against the wall and I have my workspace here and I make something. And I'm watching. Either I'm watching one of my videos from one of the groups that I'm in. I'm um, watching YouTube. Um, this summer, I used to watch um, my Netflix shows. I would bring them up on the laptop, and I just watch something. I'm, I'm multitasking and doing something at the same time as crafting. Um, in the past, 
I used to um, go in the front room and make a wreath while watching TV. But um, since I've been in um, some groups, I um, now I watch those videos while I'm doing this. So there we go. Bye, Nancy. Um, Kimberly, this is a wire hanger that I took apart at the top. So here's, let me show you. Let me see if I can move this to show you. So you can see my thing. So it's a wire hanger. See right here? Can you see the, oops, the lighting's bad. I left the loop of the hanger and I just took it apart and then I formed it into a circle. Now I need an orange one. Is there an orange Tupperware bowl? I don't think I have an orange one. <laughs> I don't think my mom has one either. I don't know. My mom, she's such an angel. She will buy herself something new and give me her old stuff, which I am not complaining at all. Um, but I have so much stuff. Sometimes it's insane, literally. Okay, now we're back to gluing. I need to move this over. This is getting in the way. <laughs> so if you're joining, let me see, I have 14 people. I, ha I was up to 20, woo! But if you're joining, if you haven't said what you're thankful for, let me know what you're thankful for and what your plans are for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to knock on some wood. Ooh, glue string. I haven't ran into any of the broken plastic ones yet. Because I wanted to show you what I do with those. Because that happens. Okay, I'm at the end. Um, I just glue it. Put it on and glue it. Like, make its own little topper thing. So how many glue sticks have I gone through so far? I think, I think this is my third one because I started and it wasn't, a, the one that I started with wasn't a full one. So if you guys are interested in making this, I encourage you to give it a try. Go get, grab some bulbs. I know they have, um, one of those big packs at Walmart for, I think it's at eight ninety seven or something like that. Check it out. You want about a hundred. This is 90 I think um 90 big ones a couple of the little littler ones I don't have tiny ones and a wire hanger um I'll show you what to do with the garland you don't have to do the garland I do the garland because I don't want to see the hanger when I'm hanging it up and then I'm going to add a bow I'm going to show you I'm not going to use my pro bow because not everybody has a pro bow but I'm going to show you how to make a bow by hand um, so if you don't have any of the tools and the, you know, fancy stuff that um, some of us do, you can still do everything by hand. There is no shame. I started out with nothing. So everything takes time. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. I have more that are like the same. Oh, well. Okay, let's put a white one on here. You guys can see all my junk back over here. <laughs> so my husband built this desk, and it goes from the wall all the way to the other wall. We're going to um, make some changes soon. I got, it's just, it's useful, but I need it to be different. So I'm not complaining at all for what he did. But I just need it to be different now that, you know, my needs have changed. Oh, thankful for family. Yes. Always thankful for family. No, I don't want to do that one. Well, that's all I got. Let's see. Actually, the most time-consuming part is the glue. 
Um, and what else what I was going to say is if you guys make one, please post it to my page. I really want to see your work. Um, and there's no, um, you know, just give it a try. Especially, you know, if you're thinking about giving a gift. Wire hanger cost me nothing because it came from my father-in-law when he was getting his um, stuff dry cleaned, I guess. Um, the bulb, cost of the bulbs and the glue. Um, and then the garland that we're going to put on in the, the uh, ribbon, you know. And anytime you're doing anything with ribbon, use the wired ribbon. Um, because if you don't use the wired ribbon, it gets real floppy. And it does not hold its shape, so. We just might finish this. Oh my gosh, we don't have that much left. Maybe we only needed 80. So one pack was 50 and one pack was 30. Cool, we're almost done. And then I'll, I'll have to step away from the desk and go to the, um, behind me and dig in a bag for the garland and show you. Um, and then maybe we'll, if, let's see what time it is. Oh, it's only 8.30. And then we'll do a, um, I'll show you how to make a bow by hand. At least how I make them. You can make it your own. You can follow the other wreath makers and make it how they make it. Oh, Judy, my name is Carrie. I'm the hot mesh mom. Carrie Gustafson. Oops, there's a... So I do this because it's hot here and it's picking up the glue string because it's like, it's almost like a spider web. Oh, and it's all over my hand. Good grief. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Megan, next, or my husband and I are planning on doing some um, in-home uh, projects and inviting people over. If you want to um, get in on that, I'll let you know. Hi, Val. Gary, yes, this is shatterproof. I do not recommend using the glass because, okay, so you're putting this up on your door, and guess what? When you're done with it, what are you going to do? You're going to store it, right? Well, you don't want it broken into a million pieces. I'm okay with them coming off because I can always add them back on, but do not buy the glass. That is, well, you can buy whatever you want, but I'm just saying no because it's too risky. <laughs> I wouldn't. I'd open up the box, the container, whatever it was in, and be in a bazillion pieces. Hi, Denise. If you're just joining, let me know what you're thankful for and what you're doing for Thanksgiving. And we're almost done. So this is what it's looking like here. Let me move this. Oh. This is a wire hanger. All I did was take it apart where it's twisted at the hook right here. Um, and formed it into a circle and taking all the, um, the, um, bulbs here, they're shatterproof and I'm doing a little bit of hot glue around the top here, this, and just feeding it onto the, um, hanger and we're just chit chatting. Hi mama. Janice is my mom. Good thing I talked about her earlier. <laughs> Mom, we were talking about your uh, Tupperware bowls that you gave me. I was saying every time you get something new, you give me your old stuff. So I have two of your Tupperware bowls. If you can hear me, I don't even know if you have your sound on. <laughs> but good night, Yari. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Oh, we'll have fun at your brother's, Denise. I don't get to see my brothers for um, 
holidays much. Both of them are in California, which is where I'm from. I grew up there. I've been in Las Vegas for 12 years since 2005. Yeah, 2005. Ooh, guys, we don't even need... So, let me see how many I have left. I'm going to say this is going to be 80. Because look at... Oh my God, and one is broken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm dying right now. Look. Look. How in the world did that happen? <laughs> it is a perfect circle. Like... Something just, I have no idea. Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you guys are here to catch this with me because there's no way I could have pulled that off. I pulled this literally right out of this box. <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay. Keep that aside. But anyways, I'm down to like, what, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm down to 13 and we only have a few spots left. So I'm going to say we could probably get away with doing 80 and you see the size of the bulbs. I only had a few of the little ones. So, and I try to get it as close to the end as possible right here, because what I'm going to do is when I'm done feeding it, I'm going to use my strength and flip it around, make it like a hook and I'm going to hook it on. So that's what we're going to do. Let me finish putting this on here. So I'm putting a little bead of glue around here. Oh, there. Oh, that's okay. You can spell my name wrong. I, I've had it spelled, some people say um, Kari. But it's Kari, K-A-R-I. No matter. Judy, I know I'm going to keep that one. I mean, isn't that bizarre? I have no idea how that happened. It's like it had a punch or something. Who knows? Who cares? Okay, this one is wonky. So all I'm going to do is like put a little bit more glue on it because I don't know what the heck's up with this one and snap him back on. Sometimes these little fingers on these things, they really like to come off. I lucked out because I've had other bulbs and they have been a hot mess. Literally, the tops were all coming off, broken, all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at all that glue stuff. Whew. Okay. So, let's finish this up. Oh, Megan, <laughs> my salad choppers. You know what? I think I'm going to have to get a new pair because mine are kind of bent on the end. And I, there's a spot of rust on there that's really bothering me. But, guys... I am not getting paid to say this, but if you know a Pampered Chef person, you have got to get the salad choppers. They're like 20 bucks, I think. I don't remember how much they cost. And I use them for chicken. Because who the heck has time to shred chicken after it's cooked? Right? So I cook the chicken, and then I get the salad choppers, and I... Clamp them with the, uh, clamp the chicken with the choppers, and I just go to town. And it makes perfect shredded chicken, and I don't have to burn my fingers. Honestly, it's like the best thing ever. Okay, so I'm getting near the end, because this does not want to go on. Okay, so I'm holding just barely a little bit of this. I'm going to try and line it up and see how great this looks. Okay, so from here, I'm going to, maybe not, I need my pliers. Let me see what my pliers are doing. Look at what my husband bought me. Isn't he a sweetheart? So I'm just going to try to bend this back. Let me get in the picture. 
all I'm doing is bending this back. You might need somebody's help if you can't do that part. I'm used to abusing my hands. And I'm going to take off my little doodad here. So now they're not coming off. Isn't that great? I put a, um, oh, they're $29.50. That's all right. <laughs> um, I put a pipe cleaner here on the end. So it stops these guys from moving as I'm doing them. Because I can tell they've already shifted. Okay. Let's see if I can do this. So I'm going to try and get in here. I might even have to take one off. This, this is like jam packed. I cannot even get my fingers in here. <laughs> oh. Okay. So let's see. And it's bent the wrong way. Uh oh. Okay. Um, I need it to be this other one. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these off. I'm going to take it off from the start over here because it's way jam-packed. I'm just going to wiggle it around. Remember, I'm in the winging it stage. I just do whatever. Right? And there's no way that I can explain this any better than what I'm doing. And this white one wants to come off. What is wrong with this one? It's making me nervous. I'm starting to get a hot flash or something. Good grief. Okay. Oh, one came off. That's okay. He can stay off. Because it is like super packed. And I just got to get his little ring off there. Sorry if it's a bad angle. So he popped off. I'm going to stick this back in there if I can. Oh, forget it. I don't have patience for that right now. <laughs> Okay, so one popped off, right? And that's okay. So I kind of wiggle them around. Because remember, we're going to put a bulb on, or a um, bow on here too, so it doesn't even matter. Nobody's going to see this part, right? Okay, so there's our there's our thing. Woohoo! So let me go grab some um, garland. I want to show you what I can do. I don't even know if I have the right color. Oh, yeah, I have silver. Okay, so I have blue and I have silver. I don't know if the, that will be okay. I have some pretty iridescent ones, too. But I only have this much. <laughs> That's not gonna do. Um, and this is just cheap stuff, guys. This is like, I don't know. I got this from last year. Look, it has a little snowflake on it. I don't even know, but this is all I have of that piece. So we either have silver or blue. Let me move this guy before he burns me again. We're gonna throw him back there. Um, so I'm just gonna cut a piece and I'm gonna show you how how to put this on. Oops. Sorry, guys. Okay, find the end. I see one end, but that's the one that's tucked up in there. Find the end. Where's the end? Where are you? Let's just take this off because this is making me mad. Well, I see this end. Okay, so I usually start. Now, we can go. If this is pretty thin... Um, you can um, feed it around twice if you feel that it's not looking full enough for you. So have a flat surface. Can you guys see? Silver, blue, silver. I'm going to try the silver because I really want the blue to pop. 
So all I do is take the end, and I, you can start anywhere, um, but I like to start at the uh, the hook part, and I'm. This is where we get fancy. We're just gonna tie it in a little knot, okay? Because remember, we've been messing with our hands all night with this thing. Oop! And I just pulled it too tight. We've been messing with our hands, and we've been gluing stuff. We don't want to mess with anything else, right? Okay, let's try that again. Tie it in just a little knot. Loop it through without pulling it too tight like I just did earlier and rip the end off. Okay, that's it. And then wherever your front is, so you got to look at it and say, okay, I want that to be my front or I want that to be my front. Um... I think I like this side better. So whatever my front is, that's how I'm going to feed it because I want the garland to um, poke through this way. Oh, what was that? My computer's going wacko. Hold on a second. I don't know what that was. Anyways, <laughs> a fancy knot, but see it stays. So all you're going to do is I'm just feeding it like this and poking it through. I'm trying to stay towards the middle because what this is for is to cover the wire hanger. And that's it. You're just going around. Let me see if I can get in closer for you with this camera. Is that better? Let's see. So I'm just taking it and, sorry, and covering the wire hanger and poking it with my fingers and again if I feel that this isn't going to cover it well I'm going to do a second pass and probably loop it the other way because when you're hanging this on the door people are either at level right or they're looking up at it for shorties like me because everything's taller than me so that's it I'm just going to loop it around like this and try to stick to the middle of it because I don't care about the top part and I don't care about the bottom part. What I want is to try and cover the wire hanger in the middle and then um, just keep going around. Now this is really cheap thin stuff. It doesn't matter. See how it's shining through? Now that other iridescent one that I have, which I only have that small piece with, I really like that. Uh oh. My laptop stopped. I wonder what the heck's up with that. Now, if you want to get real fancy, I have some, I'll show you what other colors I have, and I did some pinks in that. Okay, look, we've already went around once. So now I'm just gonna go, and I went this way. Oh, I went this way this time. Now I'm gonna go this way around the other bowl. So fancy, right? And just keep doing it. Am I still live? My computer stopped, so I can't see anything right now. I'm. Um, I don't know what's going on. So, let me see. Oh, see, one snapped off. What did I just do? Okay, so let me show you what to do when this happens. This is where we get crazy. <laughs> I, I don't even know what happened to my computer. Okay, so one snapped off, right? And it's one of these ones with the metal. So this is where we get creative. You might not want to do this. All you have to do is move these bad boys around, shimmy it. I want this guy in there. So I'm going to figure out a way to get him in there because he shouldn't have snapped off. I should have went slower. Okay. So I got to get him squeezed. Can you tell I've done this once or twice? <laughs> These ornaments drive me insane. I mean, it's a pretty project, but you got to have patience. 
And this is not like a one and you're done. It's never going to be perfect on the first try. If you do get it perfect the first try, I commend you. You were awesome. And you should really share it um, with somebody. Because this tries my patience. Sorry, I'm just trying to get this guy in there. And... Oh, good grief. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, see? Got him. Whew. Oh, my God. I'm starting to get a, another crick in my neck. Okay, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. I'm just going to poke with my fingers. Poke, poke, poke. Get this in there. Let's see what else. Um... Let's go down this way a little bit. We're going to come up this way. So go the other way. Judy, you should try it. I, it's super fun. I mean, even though it's trying my patience and making me sweat. I mean, you don't have to have anything fancy. You're making an ornament wreath. Go pick up the stuff at the 99 cent store, the dollar store, grab a wire hanger from your closet, and you're done. Okay, so I went around twice. All I'm going to do is I'm going to get my scissors wherever they are. Here they are. I cut it a little bit longer than what the actual hole is, and I'm just taking my finger and I'm just stuffing it in there like that. Okay, there it is. So even if you wanted to um, leave it like this, look at how gorgeous that is, right? Might be neat if you know anybody that's um, Jewish that celebrates Hanukkah could add some of the Hanukkah ribbon on there. I don't know what the, um, what's the menorah. I've seen ones with the menorah on there. And then you get all this stuff over here. Okay, so I wanted to make you guys a bow. Do you guys want to see a bow? I want to show you how to make a bow without any special tools. Let me see if I have the ribbon for it. I didn't buy too much blue stuff. Um, um, um. No, but I have silver. I have teal. I don't have blue. <laughs> My kids are sleeping. Thank you, guys. This, um, hi, Paula. This is about, I want to say 80. Because I used, um, okay, this, sorry, it's so dirty. 30. I bought this last year from Kmart. It was on sale. And then um, this is a, look at how big this was. This had 50. And this was from Michael's last year. So this is about 80 because I have, well, let me see how many, how many do I have left? There's three, there's four, four, six, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, I have 12 here. So give or take the size, this is about 80. Um, totally doable. I've seen the, um, the ornament packages, sorry, it's so loud. Ornament packages at um, like those big cylinder ones at Walmart for I think eight ninety seven. I don't remember how many were in there, but so here's the finished one without the bow, and it's on a wire hanger. So all you do is you take your wire hanger apart and then you form it into a circle. I left the hook on it just in case somebody doesn't have, um, uh, you know, a door hanger or anything. You can hang it in your house, anywhere. Um, we fed the that garland through. This stuff went around twice. Um, let me see. I have silver. I'm going to look really quick to see if I have any blue. Um, 
I know I have blue. I doubt that I have any blue that would be appropriate for Christmas. I use most of my blue for um, other things. I'm going to say, oh, yes. No, these are teal. That has too much teal in it. I got those at Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't. I can't believe I don't have anything with blue in it. What's going on here? Ow! Something just poked me in the head. Well, I have silver and silver, but I think I'm going to do this one. I'm going to try it anyways. White. I don't have any white ribbon. Um, and if I don't like this bow on here, um, I won't. I won't attach it, but I'm going to still make it for you guys. Always get wired ribbon. Okay, so this is what I do. I have this mat right here. Um, my self-healing cutting mat um, that I use. You can use a ruler. I've taken a piece of paper because it's 11 inches. Um, but I'm just going to use this for um, time because it's already 9 o'clock. Okay. Oh, and it's sheer. Oh, my God. Look at how pretty that is. Look at that. I think that's going to be pretty. Because it's sheer with the, um, like, the diamond silver on it. Eh, let's try it. Okay. So, what I do is I cut my ends, fold it in half. And then always cut on the fold part. If you cut on the open part, it'll look backwards. It'll be different. So it goes like that. And then I'm going to measure out. Oh, first of all, I need to get my pipe cleaner. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Sorry, guys. I'm sitting like literally on top of this tripod. Um... Um, of course, my space is absolutely a nightmare. Okay, that was fun. I just walked this. Okay, get a pipe cleaner. And you're going to need... Now, this is super fancy. Super fancy. You're going to love it. This is what I use to hold my, <laughs> my ribbons with. Okay. Uh-oh, Belinda. Well, you can catch the replay if you need to go. Okay, so I do, I put the end of my ribbon here, and then I'm coming to six inches. And I'm sorry, I can't get this closer. without like destroying the whole desk. I go to six inches and I scrunch, 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 and I'm pinching. I put it back here. I'm measuring this way to 10 inches. Scrunch, 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 putting them together. Now this ribbon has a fancy side and a not so fancy side. So I'm just taking this and I'm twisting it right underneath my, um, my finger so now it's that I'm doing the same thing lining it up here and I'm going 10 inches scrunch 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 coming up so it's looking like that with the tail keeping it all together taking my scissors and I'm eyeballing it about the same length I take my clothespin and I'm pinching it so now it's holding it together Do the ends, okay? 
super easy. This is how, if you have no tools, this is what I did before I had the, um, the Probo. And I even still use this um, just to make a bow and throw it together. Um, put on the end, go to 6 inches, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. And go to 10 inches, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Now I will do two of these and then I'll do a single. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Bring it up together. Pinch it. Fix my loop. Can you see? Oh, sorry. Cut. Ugh. Cut. Take my fancy tool. Pinch it together. Cut the ends. I know I'm moving kind of fast. I know it's getting late, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, so now here's a single. I don't know. This feels sticky. wonder why that is. Okay, put it to the end. Um, I want this one to be a little bit longer, so I'm going from the end to 8 inches. Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Here, I'm still going to do the 10 inches. Pinch. And then I eyeball it wherever my tail is. That's where I'm going to cut. And then I need another one of my um, fancy tools, my clothespin. Pinch it. Now you can get a pack, I think, of 100 at the dollar store. Yep, yep. Okay, so what I do is I take my pipe cleaner and take one of my bows, one of my starters, and then I'm going to, um, like, manipulate the tails so everything is facing up. So this one's kind of wonky. I don't know what he's doing. We're going to fix him. So you see how everything's facing up when I want this to be the top of my bow? Um, with this pinching in my hand, all I'm doing is I'm taking and going around like this. And making it like in the middle. And this is where I'm going to pull it super super tight. I'm holding it here, but I'm pulling it as tight as I can away like this. And then I'm going to twist it like that. And then I go back and I fluff, fluff, fluff. So this is something super simple. You don't have to have a fancy um, tool that I'm so blessed with. You can do it by your hand. I've been doing it by my hands for a while, but I can tell you I've gotten better just by learning and practicing. It's just ribbon. If you want to practice, go to the dollar store or the 99 cent store and buy one roll and start practicing. What can you lose? It's a dollar, right? Just start practicing. That's how you get better. Nobody started doing any type of craft and did it perfect the first time. If they did, there's only a handful of those people and there's more of us, <laughs> right? I'm a night owl too, Belinda. I don't know. I don't know when I sleep. It's totally insane. Okay. So I set this aside and now I'm coming back to my second one. I'm doing the same thing. I'm fixing it, making it, um, everything's to the front, fluffing it. Oops, that one came out. Okay. So then... I take this one because it's the top one and I'm going to place it right over the top of this. Um, but what I'm doing is I'm not going to put the loops on top of each other. I'm putting it to the side. So then I feed it through um, and I'm pulling it tight. Now see how they're um, coming together on top of each other like that? Uh, just get this pulled tight. And then we can fluff it and we're, you know, manipulating the bows and stuff or the, yeah, the loops and the ends. So this one, again, I'm pulling it super tight with this, this hand, and then I'm going to pull and twist with this hand. Okay. So I'm holding it super tight, pulling and twisting. So it gets right in there. Now don't go over twisting it because these things do break. <laughs> and then you got to start all over. Okay. That's 
the start of our bow, right? So then I think I'm going to cut one more of these just because it has the long tail on it too. So let's get this guy in there somewhere. Where do we want him at? Let's fix the ends, make them go the same direction. We want them on top of each other. And we're just going to throw this guy there. I'm doing the same thing, coming down. Pulling it down super tight. Get as tight as you can. Pulling and twisting. You don't want it to come undone, so you twist it a couple times. So there's another loop. The loops are the same. Remember the loops are, what, 10 inches? So fold it in half. It's about a 5 inch um, up and then down. And then we have these longer tails because we cut these. What do we do? These 8 inches. So they're a little bit longer. I'm going to do one more loop. Just because I want it to stick out a little bit more. So this was 8 inches. 8 inches pinch. Do another 10 inch loop. Pinch it again, kind of eyeball it. Oh my God, my house is so quiet, you guys. Oh, this is why I'm a night owl. The kids are asleep. There's no TV going. Love it. Okay, so this one. I'm going to do it the opposite direction. So you see, here's the loop and the long ends this way. Oops, sorry. The loop and the long ends are going this way. I'm going to do it to where the long ends are going the other way. And I still got to cut that tail. Okay, so. Uh oh, I hear sirens. Let me get this squished in there. Okay, I'm undone. Okay, there we go. So you see, you don't need anything. Do it with your hands. Go get one ribbon, one roll of ribbon. Try it if you haven't done it before. This is also good, guys, for Christmas presents. You want to look super fancy to your family? Go get some ribbon, get some pipe cleaners, get some wire, something to tie it off with, and make some fancy bows for those presents that you're giving out right so there we go there's our bow that wasn't so bad okay so now for here I'm taking the ends the pipe cleaners I'm gonna find my top where's the there she is now remember that one bulb popped off right so we want to make sure that we're covering that and all I'm doing is I'm feeding the oops Feeding the um, the uh, God, I can't even speak. The pipe cleaner through the wire, but I'm doing it right next to. Let me show you, right next to the loop here, the hanger. So let me set this down because I found my spot. Don't squish your bow. All I'm gonna do is. You can't really see them, so sorry. All I'm doing is I pulled the ribbon through, but I don't want to squish the bow, so let me adjust this a little bit more. And remember to be gentle and patient because we don't want these bad boys to just pop right off. Because then you'll get all sweaty and hot like I did trying to get them back on. You don't want to trash the whole piece, so we just take our time. Oh, <laughs> Judy, I sound so much like you. <laughs> Girl, this is real life. Oh my gosh, I can't even pretend all the madness that goes on in my life. I always say I should write a book or make a movie or something because this is the real reality show. Kardashians who? Okay. Oh, sorry, it's a horrible picture with this light right here. 
Um, once we're done, I will definitely post it. I'll put it over there on my fancy board my husband made me and post a picture of it with the, um, the pretty lights. Where's that other tail? Oh, it's up here. That's it, guys. We just fixed all the ribbon because I smashed it to God knows what. And fix the tails, point them in. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Yay. Oh, Belinda, I hope you try it. I hope everybody tries it. Give it a shot. I mean, it, okay, that wire hanger didn't cost me anything. Probably a dollar for the garland because you can get that at the um, dollar store or nine and cent store. Um, the bulbs. Maybe 10 bucks. I think Walmart has a pack of 100. Don't quote me on that. For like 890 something, if I saw it correctly. Um, and then ribbon. Now, I got this ribbon. Um, I only buy my ribbon at Holly, Hobby Lobby when it's on sale. So this is from Hobby Lobby. It's 9.99, but it was probably half off. So for five bucks. And this is 30 feet. So what? 10 yards for five bucks. And I mean, if you're you know, kind of fearful of trying something, go to the dollar store, buy a dollar ribbon and start trying to make a bow until you want to, you know, splurge on the fancy stuff. Because, I mean, how awesome is this? For what? 10 bucks? We just made a Christmas gift? Hello. White elephant gifts for work. <laughs> right? Aw. Belinda, it was really easy. Um, I struggled at first. So the best advice I could give you guys is patience um, and take your time. If you don't like the way the bulbs are sitting, I kind of showed you how to, you know, flip them around. Um, I'm full of glitter. Uh, just, you know, try it. That's all I can say is try it. You won't know until you try it. So that's it. I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I have a ginormous mess to clean up here. Um, and then we will, uh, I'll be live tomorrow. I don't know what time cause we're getting off work early and then going to my in-laws and they live about an hour away. So I'll do something. I'll pack up like a small, um, package and I'll do something out there. I have two things that I want to do. Um, I have a ton of the Santa hats. I'm going to show you how I wrap one. I did one last night. Um, was it last night? Or the night before. I don't remember. <laughs> um, so maybe a Santa hat or a candy cane. I'll show you how to wrap the candy cane. Um, and I'll show you, you know, how to do that. Those are simple projects, too, um, to get done. So that's it. Thank you guys for keeping me company. I appreciate it. Please like and share. That really helps me a lot. Um, do I do, do I have live alerts? Um, I foobard. <laughs> The setup on that so I'm still trying to figure out what I did wrong and how I could make it work um, so to be continued I don't know uh, when I'll be able to get that done May when I get off here maybe um, I'll give it a shot and see if I can get that up and running but it was not working <laughs> so at some point I will have live alerts right now I do not um, so I'll try to give you guys a heads up the best I can. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. I'm thankful, uh, for you guys keeping me company. It was, it was really fun. Uh, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Mwah.